Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. So in this problem, we've got this credit card and it gives 5% cash back on all groceries and restaurants. What that means is, depending on the terms, of course, all the money you spend at groceries and restaurants, you get 5% of that back in cash, usually as a credit on your statement. So uh, on your, the next time you pay your credit card, you'll see a plus on your account instead of a minus, right? Every time you spend something, you lose money, but when you get cash back, that's a plus. So you get that money added back. So the next time you have a credit card bill, it'll be that much less because of that cash back credit you get. And in this case, you're told that you spend $300 a month and you know how much would you expect back at the end of the month? Well, you would expect back 5%, 5%, of $300. And this money, usually it won't get mailed to you as a check. Again, it'll just get um, added onto your account, so you have to pay that much less the next time. But all you have to do is find 5%. 5% times 300. All I did there was I take 5%, 5 divided by 100, I get 0 0.05, and to find that much of 300, we can multiply. So let's do that. So 0 0.05 times 300 is 15. So it's basically like getting a $15 um, amount back at the end of the month, or you might get it as a credit on your next statement. So you have to pay $15 less the next time you pay your bill. All right, I hope that helped.